Hi friends, Ms. Adeko here. Today's read aloud is called A Bee's Difficult Search for Food. It tells the story of a bee looking for flowers. A rusty patched bumblebee climbs to the entrance of her hive. She is a scout. Her job is to find flowers for her family. They will eat nectar and pollen from the flowers. The hive is in a hole under the grass. There, worker bees tend to keep the queen and her eggs. Buzz, buzz. The scout starts to fly toward a field she remembers. Last year, it was full of, of yummy wildflowers. When she lands, she doesn't recognize the field. The grass and flowers are gone. The field has been turned into a neighborhood. The bee can't find any food here. She needs flowers. But what's that over there? Dandelions. Dandelions are an important source of food for bees. She buzzes over quickly, ready to eat. But suddenly, a cloud of chemicals comes out of a sprayer. A landscaper thinks these flowers are weeds. He wants the flowers gone. The scout flies to a flower pot near a house. Before she can gather any pollen, she hears, Oh no! A bee! A woman swats at her, trying to kill her. Most people are scared of bees. They don't know that bees don't sting unless they're scared. This isn't a safe space, a safe spot to find food. A long time ago, finding new fields was easy. Flowers were everywhere. But now the scout bee flies over concrete and buildings. She searches and searches. Where are the flowers? The bee is starting to lose energy, but then she spots something. Just ahead, there is a big garden of fruit and vegetable plants. It even has native wildflowers. She dives down. She aims for a big flower and lands in a cloud of pollen. Still dusted with pollen, she gathers nectar. Then she hops to another flower and gathers some more nectar. Every time she lands on a new flower, she pollinates it. Flowers that have been pollinated will grow fruit and veggies. Now the gardener will have lots of food. Once she is full, she heads home. When she arrives, bees from all over the hive crowd around her. Then she starts to do a waggle dance. She wiggles and circles and turns. This is how she tells the other bees where the flowers are. The bees fly off to gather food. This hive was lucky. All over the world, though, animals that pollinate flowers are dying. If we don't feed these insects, they won't be around to pollinate the flowers to grow our fruits and vegetables. They need our help. Where Rusty Patched Bumblebees Live Rusty patched bumblebees live in small areas around the Great Lakes and eastern regions of the United States. Pollinators at risk. Animals that pollinate plants help fruits and vegetables grow. Without pollinators, we wouldn't have food like apples, squash, cucumbers, or even chocolate. Rusty patched bumblebees aren't the only animals that pollinate plants, and they're not the only pollinators that are in danger. Butterflies, Moths, wasps, even bats and birds are all struggling with lost habitats. That means they're losing the areas where they live. Many government agencies and concerned citizens are helping by protecting pollinator habitats from mowing or chemicals. You can save bees. Plant native wildflowers. Bees from all over will come to drink nectar from them. Don't use bug sprays or weed killers in the garden. Bees can kill bees. Don't squish bees. They won't sting you if you don't bother them. This book is telling a story, but it's a true story. A lot of what they said is really what happens with bees. So it's a little bit of fiction and a little bit of nonfiction. We know that nonfiction books sometimes have text features like our glossary over here. It tells us about landscaper, native, nectar, pollen, pollinate, scout, and a waggle dance. If you want to learn more, you can visit the websites or read the books listed. I hope you enjoyed our read aloud.